Some residents in North Baltimore woke up to find an unpleasant surprise outside their front door. Tonight, investigators are working to find the culprit who they say slashed several car tires throughout the community. Mike Shue reports with details. This morning, Northwood was buzzing. Neighbors barely out of bed shake their heads. Now they actually sliced the tires. And then my neighbors down here, they got both of him and his wife's car. My cousins up here, they got their cars, and a lady across the street got her Mercedes. Amanda was up early. About her silver Lexus was one of them. 25, 25 cars. Her front was slashed. Others had both. One lady has a car like mine. Both of hers were done. Joyce Edian is disgusted with whoever did this. Find something to do with your time. But between the police and repair, it cost Amanda time she'd earned. Very disappointing, inconvenience. Right. I had to take a day off. Police got the call before dawn at 4.30. They took 12 reports. Neighbors say it was more like 20 tires in all, thousands in damages. Bad for Northwood. Good for business. If it's just one tire that's slashed and if they have a spare, then I'm able to change it. But there's a lot of these cars that have multiple flats, so even if you have a spare tire, you're still going to be out of luck. Tires are expensive, so yeah, they just came through, sliced them, and now people got to buy tires. It's not, this is not a plug. Of all of the days to have a vandal ruin a $300 tire, for Cheryl, it's about more than just money. I was just telling my dad, what if I had my appointment today to go get my treatment? Chemo. Chemo. In Northwood, I'm Mike Shue for WJZ.